Well, I hope all of you are keeping proper social distancing as we're kind of confined to our houses. I wanted to show you a trick using an uh, entire deck of cards, all right? Uh, which is all 52 cards. Uh, actually, let me give them a mix here to start with. Well, actually, um, well, I, I, I said 52 cards. Actually, there's 53 uh, because I do have a joker in here. Yeah, there, there is a joker there, as you can see. And um, they're all uh, pretty much all, all different cards, as you can see there, okay? Because um, I want to tell you something interesting about 52 cards that you probably don't know about, all right? For one thing, uh, 52 cards represent, well, I have 53 in here right now. So first thing, let's choose a card so we can get back down to 52. If I had to go through here and just grab a card out of the middle, we'll say here like that, all right? That now leaves me with 52 cards here. Uh, this card right here, we're just going to slip right underneath there, okay, as the chosen card, as whatever that happens to be out of there. Uh, interesting thing about 52 cards, all right? Um, you have the suits, which is the clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds, which represent the four seasons of the year. Uh, the number 52 represents the weeks in a year. And if you were to spread the cards out here, and if I were to add the pips up, like ace, eight, and another ace, and two, so it'd be like nine, and ten, and two is twelve, and, and seven onto that, you know, be nineteen, and two more be twenty-one. If I was to add all these pips up together, counting jack is 11, and queen is 12, and king is 13, they would total 365, which is quite remarkable. But there's something else very unusual about the number 52. If, uh, if I was to spell ace through king, it is exactly 52 letters, or the 52 cards. And I'm going to demonstrate that and show you. Uh, what we what we have here, we have ace, which is A-C-E-T-W-O for two, T-H-R-E-E-F-O-U-R-F-I-V-E-S-I-X-S-E-V-E-N-E-I-G-H-T-N-I-N-E-T-E-N-J-A-C-K-Q-U-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E